So, look. All the windows are starting to go in. The scaffold is coming down. It looks really nice. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Stonehurst. We're on the island village. I have to give it a proper name, but for the minute it's called Island Village. Now, in between, I built this little bridge. A bit of a pain in the bum because it wouldn't get started building. I had to pause construction on this building for them to, like, free up the queue. And then I got attacked, uh, which was great. I got attacked by little um, little wood ents, I guess, entlings, or little baby woodmen, or whatever. But they attacked us, and um, it hurt, to be honest with you. It hurt quite a bit, because we didn't have anybody there to actually defend ourselves. No one really capable of doing that much. So, um, kind of game plan for today is, first of all, we're going to get a foot soldier. And then, just to kind of patrol around, make sure everything's safe. They came from the woods around here, because it's, I guess it's so far away from a banner they were able to spawn. Maybe we should move our banner, like, in between here. I'm thinking maybe that's a good idea. Maybe kind of pop it in between the island. Unless it's going to make things even worse, because then they can come from anywhere. But I'm going to do it anyway, just to see how it goes. And then, hopefully, the, the way they have to get in is through here. We might have to kind of pop some buildings around or something, maybe. I'm not really sure how it works. Um, <clears throat> whether or not, kind of, um, you can get away with, um, I guess, putting buildings down and they don't spawn near the buildings. Or whether or not you kind of... Is in proximity to your banner. Uh, we'll have to kind of find out then, I suppose. We will definitely have to find out. Um, so, game plan for today is um, we need to get some beds down because they're like sleeping rough. But I also need to get a mine shaft down as well because we need to get that. Um, we need to get stone to finish off some of our buildings. And then I want to build a keep for my foot soldier as well. So, I guess we'll get started on that then. So let's get let's get started. Yep, that's still flashing red. Still need stone. So uh, our farmer and everything like that, they're all they're all sleeping on the floor like that. Hello there, Mr. Exclamation. And they're all a bit wounded from that fight because, um, like I say, they're not fighters. So um, they don't have, like, have much fighty spirit in them. I did get an extra um, guy that came along. Um, I'm not sure which one it is. Oh, they're happy, though. Today is a good day. So they're not too, um, I guess, oh, look, they actually have, tells you what they'll do and what they won't do. That's pretty cool. So um, they, these two have jobs, and I guess, like, these, the, he won't build and he won't mind. Oh, what's this? Hang on a second. Let's close that down. Uh, he's got some equipment to sell. Oh, that's pretty good. But we don't have a lot of gold, so... I mean, that might be quite good, though. Just just to get it, like... Hmm. Just to kind of get it going, you know? I'm going to do it. I'm going to buy one of those. It should sort us out. Maybe one of those? Yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Um, so, anyway, uh, let's just pause a second so, like, time doesn't fly past too quickly. And let's decide on who it is that we're going to turn into our soldier. So, we've got um, three stats. We've got mind, we've got body, and we've got spirit or soul. And um, I'm not entirely sure, like, a faith um, in people in the south. High spirit have things will easily befriend animals, stand strong against enemies, and craft exceptional things more often. Okay. Uh, mind, high mind stats allow for her things to quickly grasp mental activity. So this will level up faster, I'm guessing. This means that they have more um, more, more will, I guess. Maybe, maybe more endurance. More courage, willpower, compassion, inspiration. So we want someone with high body and spirit, right? So Fiona, oh, she's exceptional. Wow. Wow, she's amazing. And she's a hothead as well. Um, never volunteering to be back down from a fight, even when those probably should. Uh, she sounds amazing. She sounds like the perfect person to put a, give a sword. Um, <laughs> change jobs. You are now. Um, there we go. We are now half, our, our footman, our foot soldier. Um, yes, cool. That's good. And she's going to pick up, hopefully, that maul. She'll probably pick up the sword first to promote herself. Then I'm hoping she'll pick up the maul and the buckler. Yep, she's a level one footman. Unless she needs to, I think she might actually need to level up first, to be honest with you, uh, before she can pick up that gear. Um, let's find out. Where did it spawn in? Here. I think it tells you, doesn't it? Uh, class and level requirement. Yeah, see? It's crude and basic. Oh, no, no. He... Oh, no, they're going to go pick them up and put them in a the stockpile. Okay, never mind. Yeah, but I, I think they have a level requirement, so I think she might need to level up a little bit first. Yeah, they're talking about the little attack. You got attacked by the Lettlings. Oh, bless her, we cotton socks. And I did get um, some boxes, didn't I? I built some boxes with the old Jollins, the carpenter. Uh, let's see if we can um, pop those down. Place items. We've got so many items just kind of waiting to go in that house. And we've got the workbenches as well, which is pretty cool. And he's, level he's quite a high level now. Oh, did he actually finish them, though? That's the thing. don't think he did, you know. Let's see. Q. Um, yeah, they're still waiting to be 
built, I guess. What's he doing? Is he not working? Is that me? Why are you not working? Oh, well. Oh, they're, they're crying. Why are you crying? Get back to work. Oh, it's as soon as procrastinating. That's actually quite nice. I like that little touch. I might annoy people, but I like it. It's kind of realistic. It's like, yeah, I'll get back to work. I'm just having a chat with my friend. Oh, there we go. He picked up the mall and he picked up the buckler. Okay, fair enough. No, I guess they didn't need a, a level requirement then. But oh, she looks pretty badass, didn't she? I wouldn't want to be on her bad side. So we are te temporary protected. I did put this little stockpile down here because they kept running back and forward. Like, well, chopping down these trees and it was just taking forever. So I just put a little stockpile down there so they could just take care of business here uh, while they built the bridge as well. But anyway, yes, moving on. Um, so we need to, I guess, get some people over here. And um, I want to build a mine shaft kind of on the other side. I don't want it to be on this side. I want this to be like Metropolis area. Metropolis? Yeah, sure, why not? That's not the right word, but I'm going with it. Um, <laughs> so let's, first of all, let's cut down these trees. Yep, cool. And, um, oh, hey, daily update. Nice, we got a new person. Thank you very much. So, oh, wait a minute, Ellen Killian. Ellen Killian. Hello there, Ellen Killian. What's up? Your health isn't very good, is it? Ooh, Ellen's a... Uh, Ellen's a bit of a lemon. <laughs> she's not all that great, is she? What's her traits like? Ex she's excitable. Oh, bless it. She's a she's a dumb, excitable person. She's she's weak. She's dumb, and she doesn't have all that much spirit. And she's way excitable. Okay, that's um. Should we just chuck her in the river? <laughs> no, everybody in our settlement's valuable, okay? Everybody has a job. Everybody has a purpose, okay? We'll find work for you. Don't you worry. Even if it's cutting down trees. Oh, God. I played um, Don't Starve recently, and they got, like, a new game mechanic. It's probably been in there for a little while, but I guess I've only just discovered it. Where you have to cook food for, like, something to stop a plague or something. I didn't know what I was doing. <clears throat> so, in the end, I just ran around cutting trees down for ages. <laughs> just like, I'm contributing. I'm contributing. Right, so, <laughs> let's, um, I'm just going to cut all of these trees down, guys. We're going to deforest this particular area. Area, 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 area. We could even set up some walls this side and this side and just have this as an extension of our base you know we could even go down a bit further kind of like pop a build one there one there i'm kind of thinking obviously i'm thinking about like um longer plans in the future and stuff i do like this little bridge though uh, when i have some stone i'm going to augment the side of it to have like um it's going to have a little like stone side with like some um what are they called like um turrets i think they call them turrets don't they the little bits that stick out over the top so you can knock your arrows in um yeah I think that's a thing, right? I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to put another um, stockpile down here. These are all temporary, obviously. They're not going to stay here forever. Um, and it's just going to have only wood. And um, maybe we'll pop... I don't know. I don't know. Actually, no. I was going to say, maybe we'll pop another one down for stone if we get it. But no, I think that um, any stone should be brought back anyway. Because it's going to be used over here. Um, so, even if it does take a little bit longer. Oh, it's a little... Um... They're befriended by Jollins, it's my little pet. You can release the pets as well. But they kind of like, they, they knock around, you know, wander about, saying hello to people, being all pleasant and whatnot. So I got some boxes, some crates. So I'm going to pop some crates down. Pop three down. And it's just going to act as um, like a way to sort out some of our resources um, instead of having them just sprawled out all over the floor. So this one here is going to have... Um, wait a minute... Ah, here we go. Food and drink. I, I, nice, I see that they've got extra things to do and stuff. And words and things. And uh, this one's going to have just resources. And this one is going to have mm, everything else, I guess. Um, and I'm going to delete these. Remove. And remove. And then they'll start to move stuff into those boxes. And if we need to, we can, um, we can pop down some more. Oh, are they automatically um, putting, making log piles? Oh, no, the log piles are for this, aren't they? I was going to say, oh, they're automatically condensing stuff down. Right, deforestation is going quite nice, actually. And now we need to start mining. Yeah, baby. Um, let's do it fairly large. Not too large, though, yeah? Yeah, I think that's cool. I think that's cool, guys. Um, that's weird how there's like a one block gap in between. Is that supposed to be like that? I guess it is. Okay, cool. I'll guess it's so you can do floors, right? Layers? Floors? That makes sense, I guess. Um, guys, what are you doing? Oh, they must have already committed to using this stockpile. So instead of using this one, they do this sometimes. Like, they have to clear their current queue first. What is all this? Oh! Seeds! 
This is new. I've not I've not seen seeds before. How long have they been in the game? Probably ages, and I just haven't noticed. Um, but here we go. As you can see, they're kind of like starting to sort things out now. Oh, you noise. We need to get this floor done so they can start building this. So we need some... Uh, I guess we'll just have to kind of wait for them to finish what they're doing. Stop standing around chatting and do some damn work. Okay, so doing the mine shaft first, which is good. I like this. You know, I, was, I was afraid that they, they would want to try and tidy up first. But I guess tidying up takes the less of a priority. Ah, see who we're starting to get stone now. That's good. That's what we need, you know? That's what we need. So if I go slice, perfect. And I'm going to go, uh, let's see, mine. I'm going to ask them to just mine out a large area here to start off with. And even if we use this as like a, like a storage area, you know, we could do, couldn't we? Or even just like it's a temporary bed. You could even, or maybe like set this up as little barracks or something so they can have some sort of like staging post outside. Just in case we get attacked from the outside, they can kind of come in from both sides. Like, you know, pincer, pincer maneuver or something. I don't know. I don't know war stuff. Anyway, uh, as they're doing that, I can actually start with this and I can get construction to resume. Because they now we now have some resources to do so. See, there we go. They're starting to um, bring the stone down. Oh, 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 skipping away. Oh, she's so excitable. Is that the is that the excitable one? Is she? I don't know. She's actually quite fast, isn't she? Uh, oh, they've merged in. They've merged. Here we go. Um, Lizzie Rook. Let's have a look at Lizzie Rook. Oh no, no, she's quite good. Isn't she? Well, she's all right. She's kind of a basic one, like all round. I'd say she's fairly decent, but she's also excitable. There we go. Um, so, parsnips, turnips, pumpkins! Exclamation. What is that anyway? Some sort of fruit. Uh, but they are happily chugging away. I'm, I'm glad about this. And then once we get um, this building done, I do, see, I don't want to take on too many building projects at once because I feel that that might just cause problems down the line. So what I want to do is I want to get this one done and then we'll build some smaller buildings just for kind of like our workers to live in, our basic huts. And then we'll start building some um, more thematic um, houses and stuff to house the workers. So like the farmer, I'm going to build a little farmhouse. And obviously the weaver, I think I might use this template again, but just kind of change it a little bit. And, and for other workers and stuff, we'll, we'll do something similar. Um, but yeah, look, they're building quite quickly, aren't they? <laughs> Chugging away. And we've got a lot of the stuff already, if not all, all of it. I'm just trying not to like kind of like hiccup while I'm doing this. <laughs> oh, dear me. But yeah, there's some... Um... Oh, should we, should we kind of like do a little um, speed montage of uh, it's, it being constructed? <laughs> This build has actually been quite expensive to actually build, and we've got one um, her thing that's a little bit stuck. Okay, so we've got invaders approaching. Let's just defend ourselves. Uh, we've got someone else coming here. He wants to sell some stuff, but we don't have a lot of money at the minute, so um, let's um, just leave that to her. I don't know why she's stuck. It's a bit annoying, but um, I guess she she is what she is. Some stone guys. Hmm. Have they just come to steal some stuff? What are they doing? Uh, where's my? Oh, there she is. There's my my my, my fighty lady. So she's gonna probably gonna chew through these guys like butter. Hang on a second. Let's, let's see her in action. Okay, so she's tanking. That's pretty good. But it's nice that we have the extra stone though. So thanks for bringing that to us. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Whoa, Arca. Okay. Uh, by the way, if you don't know what Arca means, then I, I don't blame you to be honest with you because it's a very Cornish thing. <laughs> um, so let's get back to building. Uh, we've only got one layer on the roof left. Let's just speed it up a second, get that finished, and they can start taking down the um, uh, the construction thing. But yeah, we used up so much wood in it, so much wood, and f uh, food started to be thrown around a little bit as well. Um, there's a berry bush seed. <gasps> oh, berry bush seed. Oh, definitely. That's a thing. I didn't know that was a thing. Um, let's pop that one down as well. Definitely. Um, let's harvest these. No, which one? Harvest, yep. And let's, um, I think we got another box that we can use as well. So let's have a look a second. Yes, we do. A second place. One more storage box. I'm going to put another one down there, sure. And we're just going to make that one, um, food as well. So none and food and drink. Just to make sure we got enough, you know? And it's all out of out of out of the rain then as well. So look, the windows are starting to go in. Scaffold is coming down. It looks really nice. Thanks to the um the um, the, the the guy who created the um, template. It looks really nice. I'll probably leave it in the description. If I don't, then you know apologize. But I will definitely try to get that in. I think it's on my. It should just be on my list. So I can't imagine that I'd forget to do that. But anyway, 
I think it still needs some things though, doesn't it? What does it need? This. Um, wood f uh, finished wor uh, work shelf. Temporary storage for crafted items. I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's see. Maybe they can get to that when yeah, they get the new workbench or something. Daily update. Oh yes, as I was doing that, we, we had a new person. Um, Dana, I think it was. Oh, no, Dara. Dara Umbro. Um, who is, oh my god, not a clever cookie. But strong as all hell. <laughs> I feel like they're trying to say something. He's a pack mule, apparently. Her thing loves to haul things around. So he has um, higher carry capacity than I guess. Um, opinionated. Opinionated, yet not a smart one. So um, I don't know what to do with that. I really don't know what to do with that. Uh, maybe they'll just have to be a builder. Maybe that would make sense, wouldn't it? So anyway, um, they're starting to bring their scaffold down. Our guys are starting to sleep. Just everywhere. So what I think I'm gonna have to do is I have to some um, just start maybe constructing some small buildings from templates or something. I don't know what that is. That's just a nightmare. Uh, there's this one here that I kind of liked, right? Um, but it doesn't want to work. When I put it down, it errors. So um, so no, let's not do that. Uh, let's see. So maybe just like a cottage for two. Yeah. Yeah. I know the roofs don't match, but they're not supposed to because that's like a trade one. And then like the what the houses are going to be a bit more uniform. I like it, the idea of a bit more color though, you know. So if I can just rotate that around a second, um, pop that there, but then maybe change the color of the roofs of the roofs. Um, can we not do something a bit more like outlandish maybe? Hmm. Oh, we can, but that's clay stone maybe. But can I make it peak a bit more? Hmm, I'm getting... Hmm, ah, here we go. I'm, st I'm starting to kind of like... I'm, t I'm learning this, you know? I'm learning this, um... Hmm, what's going on? Maybe that's red because I don't have the resources? Yeah, I think so. I'm, I'm learning the, um, the, um, the build new build system, you know? The bird returns. I, f I think for now, right, we'll just go with, um... Is that, does it not like? Why is it red? Why is it red? Right, okay, so let's just go with the bird returns a second. The message of bird returns with a reply from Mer Burley Hands. Right, this letter. Well, yeah, okay, open the letter. Congratulations on your founding. Your outpost has been entered into the registry. Consider yourselves official. Her Majesty's outpost, Jolesville. It's a nice uh, ring to it. I think the inspirational about it. Yeah, okay, that's cool. So, do I get anything for it? Yeah, Alpo goes towards the settlement status. You'll attract new immigrants. Um, the Hess are now... Okay, cool. In conclusion, take the time to consider what you consider most important. Um, I guess a thriving community would be the, probably the best happiness. Yeah. Um, not too... Well, as long as, we're, as long as we're alive. You know, as long as we're alive. That's all cool. Um, oh, hello. Nope. Oh, I see. That's why. That's why it's all bugging out. So can we? Um, nope. Uh huh. That building's done, I guess. So, oh, this is weird. I'm just gonna start again. Hang on. Oh, and we get attacked as well. So let's just cancel this out a second. Should we just see what happens when she fights them alone? I think she can manage it, you know. When she levels up, obviously, she's going to start doing more damage and stuff. But these guys are pretty tough. But then again, they are made of stone. So, there we go. We could use that stone. And one more. Okay, cool. Right. So, let's just deal with this a second. I'm going to pause this just so, you know, we can actually talk and stuff. Right. So, let's bring the walls down a second and see. Right. So, this looks like I'm going to assign this to Jollins. So this is now his house, okay? Um, what was all those? Are they like banisters? It's a window frame. Why are there window frames? What? Hang on a second. Just... Oh, they've used window frames as like a banister. Okay, well it still works. It looks quite cool, I suppose. Um, and also leveled them up a few times. So, you know, I'm not too torn up about that one. Um, nope, don't want to slice. I like this like... Um, Almost sim style kind of looking through wall system they've got. Um, and we've got some tables in there. A uh, chest of drawers. Dresser. Does it actually? No, it's just decorative. I've got my workbenches and stuff as well. And oh, and he's managed to build these as well. That's pretty cool. This is temporary shelving. Oh, that's really cool. I like this. It's a nice little house, isn't it? 
definitely. And we've got some wood stacks here as well, uh, which can be um, broken down into like smaller things. What we could do here is actually, because he's a carpenter, we could just have him store wood in here. So um, so he doesn't have to go far to get it, you know? That would make sense, right? I think that makes sense. So anyway, let's get things back and rolling. Back and rolling. Um, let's see. Uh, as for food... Hmm. This is all in it, is it? Don't know about that. I don't know about that. And this one has... See, hmm. They're just not picking the stuff up, I suppose. I think I just need to give him a bit of time to clean up. Because, um, yeah, they're starting to clean up over here as well. Um, selling herbs. Hmm, interesting. Berry bush seeds? Carrot seeds can be planted to grow tasty orange veggie. And um, pine tree seeds. Hmm, okay. Well, we'll leave that for now. But um, I'm not really sure of the new like farming mechanics and stuff like that. They're obviously still farming away. Um, you're hungry? Then eat. Okay, eat. Um, but we need to get some more buildings on the go, don't we? Let's pop that back up again. Buildings. Nice. So we want to go with... Um, I like the cottage for two. And um, let me see. Just chevron, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Uh, pop it there. Okay, and um, I do want to change the roof color. Should we just go with like a green, or should we just no? I just see I don't. I'm not too keen on that. Um, let's go with like a no. That's not so good either. Mm. I'm gonna go with green. No, no. I tell you what, we go with red. Yeah, I think. I, yeah, we go with red. That'll do. Yeah, that works. I like that. Okay. And then when we get a bit like a, a bit more stone and stuff like that, a way of getting it, we can start like having the roofs go a different color. Um, like cause maybe some blue and stuff like that. But for now, I think the cottage for two. Let's build that. Nice and simple. Get going, you guys. And then um, and then we can start getting in out of the rain. Um, so again, I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to like speed build this one. Okay, they're just putting the finishing touches on this little building. It's looking quite nice, actually. I like that red. Um, it's much nicer now it's been made, I think, than what it looked like before. Um, but they, the colours go well together, I believe. And it's a nice little red on its own. And we'll have some sort of like colour coding system to go with the buildings. I think maybe like the trade buildings will have this colour. And the like the domestic or you know the, the places where they live with this one as well. She managed to clip inside the building while they were building, if that makes sense. Um, let's see, bulletin. I Now, I see. We, we have a new person that's just turned up. Hello there, Saw Fenton. Fenton! Fenton! Who is a kick-ass motherfucker. Seriously, awesome. That is a really good... Like this, this, The goods come with the bads, don't they, really? Um, she's a hothead and um, she's callous. Ooh. So she's talented, but not a nice person to be around. But never mind. I guess um, I guess you get what you're given. And also some of these things here, which I didn't realise before. Which I did realise, but I just didn't think. You have to... Um, they're actually loot from bad guys. So you have to pick it up with the loot option. Otherwise, they don't get access to them. Because um, they don't just drop as a normal item. It's, um, it's actually um, like a, a corpse, if that makes sense. <laughs> That's the way they do it. I like the little animation they have when they're finished. But anyway, this building's now finished as well. Uh, which has a couple of beds in. Um, that for the minute, they can just be anybody's beds. Um, because we don't have an awful lot to go with. Um, Norn Windriser has wares to sell. Okay. Anything useful? No, we don't have much gold anyway. Do we have anything to sell? We could sell some food, couldn't we? Um, what's that? A peasant's bread. Hmm, interesting. Um, what's this? Wild force, f a frost snap seed? I don't know why I struggled to say that. Um, but we need to do some prom like promotions and stuff like that. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. Next time we're going to get some more buildings down, I think, because we need to get shelters. We need to get, um, we just, people need to live places and maybe we do some promotions as well. Maybe get a trapper out on, like in this forest area here to like start hunting some, um, some animals and stuff like that. And maybe down this area as well. Um, probably this area first because it's not too far away then, is it? But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. And if you've got any other suggestions and stuff like that, then I'll be happy to hear them. Anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit like and subscribe. Ring that bell. And I'll catch you next time. Ciao.